So let's look at the following example. Now before we actually begin, let's recall the following two formulas. Formula number one gives us the intensity of our sound wave by using the following formula. So V is the velocity of the sound wave, our density is the density of the medium through which our mechanical sound wave is traveling, this is the frequency of the sound wave and the amplitude, the maximum displacement of our sound wave. Now equation number two gives us the pressure amplitude, the change in pressure using the following variable. So the frequency, the amplitude, velocity, and density as well as our var as well as our constant two and pi. So this is the pressure amplitude. It represents the amount by which the pressure varies from the normal ambient pressure. So let's look at the following two examples. In example A, we want to determine the maximum displacement of air molecules for a sound wave with a frequency of 2000 Hz and intensity of 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. So notice this intensity corresponds to the minimum intensity that our ear, the human ear, is capable of detecting. So, let's assume that the temperature of the air is zero degrees Celsius. Now, we essentially want to use this equation and we want to recall that the density of air is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed and the velocity of a sound wave in air that has a temperature of zero degrees Celsius is 331 meters per second. So we want to use this equation, so we want to solve for our maximum displacement, which is our amplitude. So we bring all these terms to this side and we take the square root to get the following result. So we see that if we take the square root of this ratio, I divided by 2 pi squared times density times the velocity and divide that by the frequency, we get the amplitude, the maximum displacement. So the maximum displacement is given by this value. We take this plug into our calculator and we get 5.4 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. So what exactly is the meaning of this amplitude? What's the meaning of this value? So this basically tells us the distance that our air molecules oscillate, the maximum displacement of the oscillation of our air molecules. And it turns out that the human ear is capable of detecting oscillations that have a value of 5.4 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. So this is an extremely small value. Our human ear can detect very small distances or very small amplitudes of oscillation. So let's look at part B. Now calculate the maximum pressure variation of such a sound wave as described in part A. So we want to use equation number two. So we know what the amplitude is from part A. So we can essentially plug in our values and we get 2 pi times the density times the velocity times the frequency times our amplitude. And we get a value of 2.9 times 10 to the negative 5 pascals. So when there is a change in pressure given by this quantity, the human ear is capable of detecting that change. And this is an extremely small change compared to, let's suppose, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure at sea level.